What's up, everyone? Flashcraft. That's right. It's Bo here from Flash TV Talk, and I am in my bedroom. That's right. It is. Uh, it is a pseudo completed bedroom, I think, here at LexCorp Towers, uh, or not LexCorp Towers. What am I saying? This is LexCorp Plaza. This is the central tower at LexCorp Plaza, which is looking very nice, if I do say so myself. Got my desk all ready for meetings and the like. And I got some nice seating right here. I've got our uh, LexCorp books of order and other such notes and whatnot. Very official, ready to go here at, uh, yeah, oh, ah, there we go, <laughs> at LexCorp Plaza. And uh, great progress, great progress going on. Now, as you recall, uh, some things have been going on here that have been great. For example, th this, all of this. But there's been some things that have been going on that are not so great. I have been a very successful supervillain uh, in the sense that uh, not only have I uh, created and uh, taken over LexCorp, I've also, uh, you know, I, I may have been responsible for the League of Assassins. Uh, this, is, this is known by us, but no one else, no one else knows. There's no proof that I actually was part of that or anything of that nature. Um, however, things have been going quite well. And our latest scheme... Uh, was very successful, which was we acquired the diamonds from Central City. The Central City funds were uh, stored underneath the warehouse. We purchased, or not even purchased, that was, that was the great thing. We didn't even purchase it. We were just given the land and all of its uh, cont containments, all, everything that it contains uh, by the mayor, and, uh, and, and who unwittingly basically just gave us the entire city's diamond stock. So, that was great, and that was wonderful, but now we are sitting on a pile of diamonds, and we need to do a better job of securing it than the mayor did, that's for sure. And so I've been working on creating a vault here at LexCorp Towers. No, stop calling it that. LexCorp Plaza. This is LexCorp Plaza. This is the central tower of LexCorp Plaza. Got to remember that. So yeah, if you come down here, uh, this is probably going to be, I haven't quite figured out exactly what this space is going to be yet. It may become more of like a workspace. Like I may actually kind of, you know, have this more of a crafting area with some more traditional uh, goods or that sort of thing. Or I may end up using this as a pure storage space. Or I could just kind of make this more of a decorative like office space. But it'd be a little weird since the only way to get to the office space is through my bedroom and main office. So I need to kind of think through that. But regardless, if we go down one more floor, then we do see that this is where ta -da, the vault is going to be. Now, this is by no means completed, uh, and so it is very insecure from that standpoint, but this is going to be a redstone vault system that I'm really excited about. I've been messing around with it in creative mode, and I've come up with a design that I really, really like, and ideally the way this will work is that this the, the diamonds will be stored right here. Uh, this Basically, this this will open up and then this block right here will become a barrel. And I know it's, it's it's easy enough just to like, you know, switch this out and push it down and oh, there's a barrel right there. But no, 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 we, we wanna do something a little bit more special where all this stuff kind of goes a little crazy. So that's what's gonna happen, it's gonna look really cool. But beyond that, it's going to be redstoned up so that you have to know where the switch is in order to crack the vault, in order to crack the code. So uh, I think that'll make things super secure where will the switch be? Will it be in this building? Hmm? Will it be somewhere else? Could it be in the Hall of Justice? Could it be at the saloon base? We'll have to find out. We'll have to find out. So more on that as we go along. But I'm excited that uh, that we're going to have a, a, a bank vault. Or not necessarily even a bank vault, but just a, a personal LexCorp vault that'll be far more secure than what we were dealing with here in Central City. Now, I don't know. I was actually looking at kind of the way that I have this laid out. I think I think I might actually be able to put one more floor right here and kind of keep the same essential distance that I've got going on. And if that's the case, then I might actually increase this up back to, I guess, around here, put in a floor, and then do some sort of... I don't, I don't exactly know how I'll do it, but basically this would be kind of the, the bottom floor. But given the fact that I'm not even sure what I'm going to do here yet, Putting in a whole other floor might, I don't know, maybe that's maybe that's a good idea, maybe it's a bad idea. Who knows? Who knows such things? But we got a bit of a situation that we need to deal with. Because I have been informed by uh, friends of LexCorp and, uh, and, you know, Central City Citizen himself, uh, Foxy, 
that something is going on here at the voting booth that is quite concerning. Prop 010, recall Bo York, a.k.a. me, Minister of War, due to issues. <laughs> Wait, what? Issues? Vote proposed to remove uh, Minister of War powers from Bo and render all executive orders by him as null and void. Mayoral office of Will Benson shall remain green, uh, remove, red, retain. Okay, so... Okay, this is, this is very confusing. This is very confusing. So this, this is kind of what happened. Fox told me that, uh, you know, basically he was curious as to my thoughts on being elected, uh, you know, lose, or being, being kind of ousted by electoral vote. I thought that was weird because I told him I don't currently hold any kind of elected office in Central City. In fact, I think I'm, well, I guess there are other people who are holding offices that we're not necessarily elected to, but I certainly am not in any kind of elected office. In fact, the Minister of War... Yeah, Minister of War, due to the issue for the proposed remove. I'm not the Minister of War. That that position was I was abolished by me. I abolished the Minister of War position as Supreme Leader of Earth Two. Now I made myself Supreme Leader of Earth Two when I was Minister of War, but I used the stones to destroy the stones, so it's gone. That's that's not here anymore. So we got a little bit of a situation that we need to take care of, which is that for some strange reason this voting booth appears to be in some kind of time paradox because this doesn't make any sense. So we're just going to have to shut this thing down. We're just going to have to shut this thing down. And it's not the first time that I've had to shut down something. In fact, I, my offices have been vandalized several times by the mayor's office to the point where it was actually keeping me from being able to focus on finishing the tower. So I ended up having to close myself down. Isn't that terrible? It's, it's, it's awful. It's absolutely awful. All right, so let's get in here. We're gonna need more than just this, though. I mean, we need to we need to shut this down. Now, if there's one thing that I feel like, you know, I can I can use my powers. Well, I mean, like the reality is, I can use I can use all my powers however I want to. I'm I'm the supreme leader of Earth too, but I want to make sure that I'm using my powers for good. And I think thwarting what clearly is some sort of rift in time and space. Uh, from potentially destroying Central City is is one of the best possible uses of my power. So, you know, I, I'm, you know, super villain status aside, I mean, like, honestly, I'm more of a hero than a villain when you when you think about it that way. What does every good hero think himself a villain in his own mind? I, I don't know, something like that. Voting booth temporarily closed by order of the supreme leader there we go done day saved so this actually comes at a great time because we really need to dive into the timeline a little bit because i've had an idea i was sitting here i was looking at how awesome uh everything is coming together we've got really just a nice skyline for central city uh look at that look how beautiful that is when you come into it it's, it's, it's coming together really nicely. And a while back, I even suggested, what if we actually wrapped around Central City so that it actually kind of goes a little bit behind the Hall of Justice? Now, there's been a couple of different ways we've talked about doing this. One is kind of like an amalgam situation of like Gotham and, uh, you know, uh, Metropolis and, and possibly Star City all kind of having, uh, you know, elements in this like large DC kind of wraparound city and that's a cool concept, and, and I'm, we, we might do something like that. But I kind of feel like we need to kind of lean in a little bit more with what we're working with with Central City. And to do that, we have got to go back. I'm thinking that we need to go back to our plans from Earth-1 and actually build Star Labs. Specifically, the, uh, the television Star Labs, you know, with the, uh, the, the Flash has returned kind of in a post-COVID world. We're starting to get new episodes. It looks really, really nice. And man, that establishing shot at Star Labs really does, really does make me miss having yeah, that to look at uh, here in Minecraft. And so I'm thinking we need to actually possibly build it right there. I'm thinking the exact same size and scale that we did before, but this time we would actually do the internal uh, work which we never actually did the first time around and we wouldn't destroy it 
Uh, we might rough it up a little bit, maybe just for the fun of it, but like, I, I don't think we would destroy this. Couldn't, wouldn't that be awesome? I mean, like, if you had like the, you know, the Star Labs kind of peeking over the the corner there, I feel like that would be a really, really good spot for it. You know, because as it stands right now, the city is kind of further off. It doesn't really render until you start kind of going this way. But this would kind of give a little bit of a hint to kind of head in that direction, like you want to go towards Central City, and it might be really nice. So let's see, if we do this, we are going to need, there we go. We're gonna need the space to do it. And right over here is kind of what I'm thinking. Something around this area, kind of a little bit further back removed. The goal that we're going for is gonna be really like making a nice skyline for, uh, for right over the edge of, uh, of the Hall of Justice. And maybe even having this little dirt road possibly even going directly into where this would be. Um, it'll also be kind of a nice kind of standing in direct opposition to Cadmus Labs over there. We'll have Star Labs over here. Um, I've got plans for what to do. I know the warehouse, the big thing was, you know, getting it ready to, uh, to, to not steal, um, uh, take, not take, uh, liberate, liberate the diamonds. By the way, what, 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 what's on my back here? Hang on. What, what is this? What what is this? Why why do I have golden wings? Hang on. Did this was this always here? Is this a glitch? No? Huh. Well, I have golden wings for some strange reason. But you know what? I'll take it. That's fine. Yes. So, we are going to go uh yes, so we're going to uh, look at possibly building star labs here. But the question then remains how do we do that? We need to we need to kind of go back to Earth 1 and essentially take a look at what it is we're dealing with. So that's what we need to do. Fortunately, that is not a problem for us because as you know, I've got a time machine. And it's about time that I actually put the time machine back into use because it, honestly, it's not been doing anything but collecting chickens. Oh man, I still need to fix up the UFO. <laughs> I still need to fix that thing up. Okay, here we go. So, of course, the time machine is stored underneath the netherite throne, right in here. Now, this is kind of fun. I, I've got this set up so that you just press this button, get on up here, and no! What happened to my time machine? What? Uh, uh, okay, not, not too much harm is done. Just need to fix this. All right, not, not a problem, not a problem. We've, we've got the components. We can rebuild it. Man, Earth One. Going all the way back to Earth One. This is gonna be this will be exciting. It's gonna be exciting. There we go. Okay, boom. And here we go. Alright. So now we just need, of course, a button. Why are the buttons always so hard to come by? I mean I could just use one of those buttons or make one on the fly. Why not? That's how we program this thing. Okay, now we want to, this is a little tricky, because not only are we going back in time, but we also want to go to a different Earth. Uh, so we need to travel both through time and space, but I think that should be fine. I've recalibrated this thing a couple of times so that, you know, it, it can send somebody back in mentally time and kind of erase their, their you know, their, their memory of what just happened uh, and kind of like contain that inside the, the bubble, or you can like change out the outside world. But um, yeah, let's see what... Uh, see what's going we want to program that over there calculate this one over here there we go boom all right got that calculated boom and going all the way back baby oh, oh, oh. it's happening it's happening can we go we're going back in time we did it we did wow look i i look i'm in okay i'm in my starter garb no netherite that's fine that's fine and uh, this doesn't look like Earth One. Where where are we? This isn't. Um. Hmm. I don't see Star Labs anywhere. What is going on? Where are we? Wait. That's. Oh my. No. We're in Earth Two. Wait. What this? This is this is Earth Two. This is Earth Two before before we got here. Oh wow. Yeah, that's 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 where 
the Hall of Justice is supposed to be. And actually, this popped in right where the War Memorial would normally be. Oh, man. And that's, that's, that's primordial Central City. What? We definitely undershot it. We definitely undershot it. But we have succeeded in traveling back in time. Wow, look at this. Central City before us. Wow, that's right. That was our first uh, portal. And this is where the bank is. And up there is where the warehouse is. And then, yeah, there's LexCorp Plaza is over here and Iron Heights. All of these little... Uh, all these little houses, for the most part, have been completely destroyed. This is with the mail. This is a. Uh, is this right? Let's see. Where? Come through here. Walk up there. Yeah. So this would be where the the mailbox, or rather the uh, the post office is. No wait. This is where the post office is. That's right. And then this was a fountain. I forgot there was a mushroom that just grew here. Okay. There's where the League of Assassins is supposed to be. We definitely overshot this. Or undershot this. We definitely undershot this. But not to worry. That's fine. Clearly. Uh, clearly things went a little off. But we can fix this. We're not trapped in the past. That would be ridiculous. Right? <laughs> right? We just need to, we need to fix this. Ooh. I wonder if it's in the chest. Hang on now. Let's get some goods from the past. Hey, you know what? Shiny gold boots. I'll take them. And don't fall in there. Okay, so that did not go the way that I had planned. We ended up Earth 1, or rather Earth 2, before the series even started. So let's see if we can reprogram this thing for Earth 1. Okay, let's reprogram this. Get me off this earth now. Hello, red button. Boom. <laughs>